Hello, hello, welcome to Miss V's Corner. In today's video, I will talk to you how to use Google Slides to assess the knowledge of your students. In the last video, we've talked about how to form and make quiz in, quizzes on Google Forms and put them together with your Google Slides to assess your students. This time, I will talk about how you can do the same thing, but only using the Google Slides. Stick around. Okay, so here we are on um, my Google Slides. I'm going to use the example of um, Georg Friedrich Handel, this same one that I've used last time with all the same information that I wish my students to do. But in this video, I will talk about how you can link a particular different Google Slides link except uh, instead of the Google Forms. And on that link, you would have created a quiz for your students. So this is what your quiz would look like. I am right now talking about Georg Friedrich Kandel, like I did in my last video when I have linked the link to the Google Forms quiz right here. But instead of linking it to the Google Forms, I have created this quiz using Google Slides. I'm going to go step by step how I have done that. So I'm going to click on blank. Um, of course, you don't need this. So you would exit. Now, I will first entitle my presentation quiz test. Now, the very first thing we need to do is we need to change the format. We're going to click on file, page setup, and we're going to click on custom and change 8.5 by 11 inches. That is the closest to the PDF um, that I would like to have in my presentation right now for the students to be able to type up. Now, um, I could click insert and click the image of the actual quiz, uh, a quiz made, and I did a screenshot, and then I just inserted it as a background. It's really important that you insert it as a background. You can uh, use insert image, but then your students will be able to move it around when you send the link to them. Instead, go to background, choose image, upload, browse. I have it saved on my screenshots, and it is right here. Done. So now you can see that my students have questions that they need to answer, um, that there are particular information that I need from them. But if, if I send this to them, they won't be able to type and write any answers. So all you need to do is insert a text box, drag it to the student's name or wherever you want it to be. But look, it doesn't look really nice. So you can see it through. So we need to change it into not being transparent. We're going to put it white. And I'm going to put the background of the text box, uh, the border, really thick. So students actually know that this is where they need to type. So when you send this to your students, double click and they can. Type. Now, all you have to do right now is just copy. and paste to wherever you want it to be on your text. Now, this might take a while. Okay, so all I have done is just copy and paste the text box in the places that I would like my students to write the answers. Now, this is really important. You need to change this share button is very important since you are sending this to the students it needs to be anyone with a link but watch this if you'd like your students to answer the text which you do that's the whole point of this video of what why you're doing this you need to click editor copy link and then you are going to go to wherever you want this link to be again i'm going to highlight the word here 
and we'll go to the links and we'll click paste. Apply. Now, do not forget in the original P, uh, in the original Google Slides that you have all the information in, you need to change the share button as well. Make sure it's anyone with a link. Don't let the kids be the editor of your Google Slides with the information at all. Let them be the viewers. Click done and you are done. So when you present, it, present this to the students, the whole slide with all the information, then remember what we talked about in one of my previous videos? Present, change this to present, copy. You will send this link to your students. And then when they receive the link, this is what they will see. Now, this is the part where the quiz is, the PDF quiz that we just created on another Google slide. So what you will do, click here, or students would click here. And then they would receive this. Now, since you put edit there on top of your link, the students are able to write in the text boxes that you've provided for them. As a teacher, you are able to see who's working on it. So this is the original one that I have created, that I have used, and you can see that there is a student that's currently writing in this particular box, student being me, since we are <laughs> logged in my account. But when you send this to the students, you'll be able to see the students' names as they're working on this. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. Google Forms work so much better for me because you will get an automatic response from a particular student. Google Slides do not do that. So when you send the link to the quiz test to the students with the words edit in there, don't change them into present, keep them as edit. When you send it to the students, then if you want individual responses, you are going to have to name every single one of your slides. Student one, and then you will send this link with an edit at the end of the link to student one. Then you will make another Google slide, student two. Then you would make another student three or whatever the name of your students are. That is a huge amount of work for you. But yes, students will be able to individually um, access this and write individual um, answers. Now, if you want the students to be working as a group, you can do that. And then you, you can do this. So you can send them this. And then you will actually see multiple students working and editing this particular There's project. There's another thing that I'm suggesting you do if you decide to share the quiz in form of Google Slides for your students. Instead of edit, you can send a link that has a word copy at the end of uh, the Google Slides. So you would send it to your students and then the students will be prompted to copy a test. Make a copy. They'll make a copy on their own. And then they will be able to edit and write on their own hobby, copy without you actually seeing that they're making changes in your original slide. I suggest this way. This is a better way for me personally. So send a slide uh, that will prompt the students to make a copy of the quiz. And then after, when you ask your students to send you the link, they can do the same thing. They can write present and send it to you, or they can just send you as an edited copy, just copy the link right here and send it to you through email. That also works. So I hope this was clear. You can use the PDF forms or the Google Slides that you paste the picture as a background, type in the questions or um, type the text boxes for students that they can type in as individual answers. This does not work for me in my case, since I have a lot of students in my class, 
Google Forms work better for me. But this is a great tool if you are a language teacher, if you are a language arts and reading teacher, that you would like your students to work on a particular project, like a writing assignment, together as a group. Then this is a great tool to use. I don't particularly use this in my music classes since I use or and ask the students to give me individual responses. But for you, this might work. Give it a shot. It's a great tool to have. Uh, Google Slides are awesome, so use them and have fun. Thank you for watching. Stick around until the next video.